This is Tanya. Welcome to Tanya Dina's Max. I would be teaching CBSE class 10 Max and this is my sister Tina Lofus. I teach 8 Max. All right, now let's jump into the video. Today we are going to be learning chapter 6 triangles exercise 6.3 seventh question first subdivision okay so totally there are uh, four subdivisions in the seventh uh, question i'll try covering up all those uh, subdivisions in this particular video okay so now let us read the question in figure 6.38 altitudes ad and ce of triangle abc intersect each other at the point p show that triangle aep is similar to triangle cdp so this is the first subdivision of this particular seventh question okay so there are two altitudes that is ad and c so here we have uh, ad and here we have c so what are altitudes okay so if you guys don't know uh, what is an altitude forget about it first what is this line so this line we call it as perpendicular line. Am I right? That's why there is a symbol that is perpendicular, 90 degree. Am I right? So altitudes are nothing but perpendicular line, which is drawn from here, this vertex, and it is uh, perpendicular to the opposite side AB. Okay. Uh, so if you don't just understand this also, just forget about it. Perpendicular line is known as altitude. Okay. Alright guys, so that's why A, D and C. So A, D here this is a perpendicular line and C here is a perpendicular line. These two are altitudes for triangle A, B, C. Okay, now we are supposed to show uh, it is similar. Am I right? So if you want to show something is similar, we just take two triangles. Am I right? So I am going to be taking in triangle. So I am going to write in triangle A, E, P and triangle cdp so where is a e p so a e p and c where is d yeah sorry c d p okay so c d c d p okay i'm sorry guys so we are supposed to keep the uh, 90 degree at the center so here the 90 degrees represented as e am i right so we are supposed to keep it in center so a e p and here C D P. So it is in middle. Middle the value E here E is equal to 90 degree. Here D is equal to 90 degree. Okay. Okay, guys. So now what I can just do is I can write angle A E P is equal to angle C D P. Why is it equal? Why is it why angle A E P is equal to uh, angle C D P? Think about it. So, right now I told you guys right that uh, angle E is equal to angle D. Why? Why? Because both are 90 degree. So, I can just write both 90 degree. Okay. I can write it like this. So, now do you guys see a uh, opposite angles? So, what is the opposite angle? So, uh, here uh, when you just take a, a look at this triangle. So, here I have a one second yeah so here i have a triangle this is a triangle am i right so this is also a triangle so do you guys think that this is an opposite angle so these both are opposite angles am i right so we can just write vertically opposite angles so uh, so i can write angle c p d is equal to angle a p e why why because vertically opposite angles so i can write like that so i'll write so angle c p d is equal to angle a p e why why because vertically opposite angles so we are supposed to write the reasons as well then only we'll get we can score a mark okay so if you don't write that we might lose a mark so vertically opposite angles am i right so both are opposite angles okay 
So now I can say it is similar am I right why because we got two angles then I can say triangle AEP is similar to triangle CDP. So by which criterion by AA okay. So by AA criterion it is similar okay. Since I got two angles now I just uh, uh, proved it is similar okay so now uh, we are going to be solving the second subdivision okay guys so now we are going to be solving the second subdivision so the second subdivision is triangle abd is similar to triangle cb okay so we are supposed to show that triangle uh, abd is similar to triangle cbe so where is triangle abd so triangle a b where is d or oh, d is missing here so d is here okay so triangle a b d so this triangle uh, we are supposed to say it is similar to c b e okay this triangle okay so now when you just look at the uh, triangle a b d and triangle uh, triangle c b e so let us write in triangle a b d and triangle CBE. So, here how can we take the values? So, do you guys think, one second, yeah, do you guys think that uh, we get B in both the triangles? Of course, we get B in both the triangles. Then I can write angle B is equal to angle B. Why? 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 Because I get uh, B angle B in both the triangles. So, I can write common. If I get a value in both the triangles, I can just take it as common. Okay. All right, guys. So one more thing. Uh, tri triangle in triangle ABD and in triangle CBE, I can write angle ADB is equal to angle CEB. Why? So where is angle ADB? So angle ADB okay so here so let me just mark it then only you'll understand okay so here angle a d b okay so this triangle so here in angle a d b no so what is the mid one here here it is a d b so here since you guys know in the d place no this side it is perpendicular am i right so here this side uh, it is perpendicular then we can say here also it is perpendicular we can just write it like that okay okay so we can just write it like that so no worries at all so uh, angle a d b is equal to angle c e b so where is c so c is here e is here c e b so i'll mark it okay so this line so angle c e b so here since you guys know here c e b here e is perpendicular am I right so we have perpendicular symbol so i can write the reason is 90 degree am i right perpendicular means 90 degree so i can write both 90 degree that is the reason i just told a d b is equal to C E B why because uh, angle here no the angle D and E both are having the degree that is 90 degree okay. So now since I got two angles I can say angle uh, sorry triangle A B D is similar to uh, triangle C B E okay by which criterion by A A criterion. And one more thing, please be careful while writing the triangles and all. Why? Because so here, since you guys know angle B is uh, equal to angle B, am I right? So here, angle B is equal to angle B. We got the, the same thing. And here, angle A, D, B. So here, when you just see the middle value, so here, here middle value, you know, we have D and E. So angle D is equal to angle D. So here we have D, and here also we have E. So angle D is equal to angle E. So, everything is perfect. Am I right? When we just compare it, both are same. According to these values only, we are supposed to predict the triangles. Okay. So, be uh, so be careful while writing the triangles. Okay. Alright, guys. So, now we solve the second subdivision. Now, we are going to be solving the third subdivision. Okay. Alright, guys. So, what is uh, 
third subdivision. So third subdivision is triangle AEP is similar to triangle ADB. So we are supposed to show. Okay. So in the question starting itself they mentioned it. Okay. That's why I'm not just writing that. So once again, yeah. So here when you just see, you know, yeah, they already mentioned show that. That's why I'm not just uh, mentioning those things. Okay. So be careful. Okay. So we are supposed to show that. Triangle AEP is similar to triangle ADB. So, it is really easy to solve this as well. Okay. So, first of all, where is triangle AEP? So, whenever uh, we have something like this, you know, we are supposed to see the triangles. Okay. So, we have triangle AEP, this small triangle. Okay. AEP uh, is similar to triangle ADB. So, where is ADB? A, D, P. Uh, sorry, B. Okay. So, we are supposed to show that this uh, small triangle is there, no, that is triangle AEP is similar to triangle ADB, okay. So, we are supposed to show that. So, at first, what I can just write is, I can write in triangle AEP and A uh, in triangle ADB, first I can write angle AEP is equal to angle ADB. So, now you guys tell me. So, why did I write it like this? So, there is a reason why I wrote it like this. Why? Because, so now let us say, uh, let us see angle AEP. So, in angle AEP, so here, uh, when you just see angle AEP, so here E is 90 degree perpendicular, that means 90 degree. So, it is equal to angle ADB. So, angle ADB. So, here also it is uh, 90 degree. Am I right? Why? Because already I just told you guys here also it is perpendicular. Since uh, here it is perpendicular, no? we can say here here also it is perpendicular. Okay. So, here also when you see I can say this is also perpendicular. So, you are supposed to write it uh, somewhat bigger compared to this one. Then only you will be able to uh, identify it. Okay. So, this also I am writing it somewhat bigger. Okay. So, here, uh, here also 90 degree, here also 90 degree. So, I can write both 90 degree. Am I right? So, both 90 degree. Okay. Alright guys. So, now, uh, now I can write angle PAE is equal to angle BAD. Why? Now also, it is really easy to find. So, in the both the triangles, we get, uh, sorry, here, oh yeah. In both the triangles, you now we have A as common. Am I right? Since we have A as common, I just wrote the A in middle. So, where is P A E? So, P A E and B A D. Okay. So, I, uh, so in A is in the middle. Am I right? Why it is in the middle? Why? Because it is common. Angle, angle A is common. That's why. Okay. So, now since I got two angles, then I can say triangle AEP is similar to triangle ADB. Why? By AA, that is AA criterion. Okay. So, now finally uh, we solved the third subdivision as well. It was really easy. Am I right? Okay, guys. So, this is the fourth subdivision. So, according to the fourth subdivision, we are supposed to show that triangle PDC is similar to triangle BEC. So, where is triangle PDC? So, uh, P is here and D is here, C is there. So, one second. I guess now you can see the C. Am I right? So, okay. So, PDC is similar to triangle B E C. So, we are supposed to show that. Okay. Show it. So, first of all, now let us take. Uh, let us write in triangle. So, same step. Okay. So, P D C and triangle B E C. So, in these both triangles, I can write angle P D C is equal to angle B E C. Why? So, P D C is equal to angle B E C. So, where is P D C? So, P D C is equal to angle B E C. Okay. So, in both the angles when you just see, uh, see the middle one that is D and here it is E. So, here D is perpendicular that means 90 degree. So, he is also uh, perpendicular that means it is 90 degree. Then I can write both 90 degree. Am I right? So, I can just write it like that. So, you can write both 90 degree. 
okay so i just wrote it like that okay try to understand okay so now i can write angle dcp is equal to angle ecb so where is angle dcp so angle d c p is equal to angle e c b okay so in both the angles if you see c is common am i right so since c is common i can write common am i right so i can just write it like that so write common so since i got uh, two angles here i can write triangle p d c is similar to triangle b e c by which criterion by a a okay so by a a criterion i can say it is similar okay thank you guys for watching this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt you can comment me in the comment section catch you in the next video bye